Our final performance this evening is Check Me Out by Emily Hagman. Yar, go fish! Well, crikey, Captain Crack, you can't always say that. All right, go harpooning. Well, I mean, Captain, you can't always say that either. That's not how the game works, eh? An old man can dream, little Barney. An old man can dream. An old man can also have night terrors, too, about his underwater rival, the malevolent Big Bertha. Captain Crack, can we have to hear another little speech? It was a dark and storm to leave in tide when I first opened these here craggy old eyes and saw her. The big, the terrible, the Bertha. Oh, yes. Bertha, would you pray tell, was this woman fish of marrying age have an hate have a rival who's winning the affections of such a charming and eligible bachelor as yourself? What did he say? I can't hear you. My ears are full to the brim with wax. Was this lady fish of marrying age? Yeah. Well, I suppose she was. And you saw her and thought her befitting of your wedded bliss? Yar, well, she's a fish and I'm trying to kill her, so... Blast it all! I should have known. He plans on killing the beautiful Bertha with his manly intentions. What shall I do to turn his eye? Shall I faint on him? When I fainted on him last week, he asked if scurvy had gotten the best of me, and I told him, yes, but was scurvy of the heart would have taken Everyone me. Everyone can hear you. What? Everyone can hear you when you talk about your weird feelings. What? No, they can't. Are you telling me that they can hear the deepest secrets of my bosom? Duh. No, no, it was a deep and terrible lie the man told me. And for the 800th time, I am not a man. The man shouted, his hairy chin trembling. Hairy, really, hairy chin. It's smooth, and you know what? I don't care what you think. Blimey, Casey, calm down. It's not worth getting your snow britches all twisted up over. Yar, Barney. Casey just be having a bad day, you see. Really? I. It'd be her three-year self anniversary. Oh. No, I mean, it is, but I obviously don't care about that. Crikey, it kind of sounds like you do. Well, I don't, so there. Sorry, poor, poor man. I'm so terribly sorry. Perhaps you could do something to cheer yourself up. Whenever I'm blue, I do a touch of needlepoint beside a dying fire while mourning my unclaimed maiden. What's in such a bright mood? Arr. And I count me teeth. Watch, I'll do it now. One, two, three. It used to be a more time-consuming activity before all the scurvy. And I look for my parents. Mom, Dad, is that you? Save me. I've resorted to spending me days with questionable homeless men who may or may not have hard gold. I so do not belong here. I am non-fiction. Ripping non-fiction. It sounds like an oxymoron, but it's not. Yar, I forgot. You were shelved incorrectly by Doris, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and now because Doris is too vain to wear her readers, I'm going to sit here until my pages turn yellow, wasting away with all of you wannabe glasses. <gasps> Yar, words hurt. I'll have you know that I was once called a much more annoying Oliver Twist, which basically means I'm better than him. And recently, my novels have been described just like a Jane Austen novel. If Jane Austen had been allergic to quality and self-respect. And everybody loves me dysentery chapter. Do not. Dysentery be mighty disease which occurs He knows how dysentery works. We do not need to hear you describe it in poorly realized prose. Yar, you're as rude as Big Bertha when she tries to bite off me leg. She didn't even, <laughs> she didn't even ask first. Oh, like Theodore Tonflower when he rejected the use handkerchief I flung at him at the eve of my sister's wedding. Won't make my parents abandon me. Mom, Dad, is that you? <laughs> I cannot stand this one more second. I have got to get checked out. Well, being checked out isn't all that it's popped up to be now, is it? Aye, Laddie has a point. Last time I was checked out, the young fella brought me to school and left me in his bag for three weeks. It was full of old beef jerky. Yes, and I found myself in the corner of the girl's bathroom. Those are things I saw. Uh, and 
and Blimey, there's spark notes. No, no, do not say that dreaded thing. Yar, spark notes. If I would ever see it, I would harpoon it. And harpoon it good. As if spark notes can ever capture my shattered soul.